guys, it's Kerry Bringle. It's a day in the life of Peg Leg Parker. Uh, you can see right here, we've just walked into the restaurant. We've got our bar right here. You can either come up and get a drink for your convenience, or if you want to sit, you can order. It's full service at the bar. That's what a lot of people don't know. The good bartenders have come to the line and recruit people if their bar is empty and fill it up. We usually have a line. You know, we're we're fairly busy today. You can hear the buzz in here, and that's what makes it fun is, is that buzz and that atmosphere. The sound bounces around in here because it's cinder block walls and no windows, but you know, most of the most of the barbecue places that I grew up going to down in West Tennessee and in Memphis were like this. You can see if you kind of come up this way, and this is kind of the iconic spot. I think we get as many pictures of this right here as we do of the sign out front because people really like the neon order here and then our old school menu board. I think that menu board is about 40, 50 years old and uh, really resonates with people. They really get the feel of the place. We got our trophy case over here where we've got uh, some awards that we've won. You know, I'm really proud of the ones that we've won for our bourbon and we got a third place in Whole Hog and Memphis in May. Uh, probably my favorite awards that are in that trophy case are two uh, Eagle's Head trophies. And those were from when we went up to Fort Campbell and we cooked for the wounded uh, soldiers up there. And we did that for a number of years. And so probably my most meaningful awards up there would be the ones that we got while we were doing something great for a great cause and a great charity. who just walked in, who's my right leg man. He's in charge of all the culinary operations. And so Steve was a welder by trade, and now he's a pit master, and he's been cooking with me for close to 20 years. And so Steve's in charge of all the pits, but he's also in charge of all the food, all the culinary operations. So anything that has to do with any of the food, the buck stops with Steve. Yeah, also in charge of uh, working for my pet helpers there on vacation too. So. That's right. Steve's, <laughs> Steve's, out of retirement. Steve's son works for us. He's one of the pit boys to men yes. and he's out on vacation <laughs> today and so Steve got to sub in for his son. Uh, well you know I like to make sure our ribs are good because that's what we're known for so I really like to keep on the ribs and then we uh, the chicken wings you know we, I like getting them in and out. We can do them in about an hour and a half so just the simple things. The butts are what take all night and then you got 60 butts on the cooker, so that means 60 got to be wrapped. So. Right. I don't need a right hand man. I got two hands. <laughs> I need a right leg man. I need a leg up on the competition. Yeah. That's it, right there. Boom. Well, we're sitting here at Bullshit Corner. My wife got me this uh, plaque here. We used to do our podcast from here, live from Bullshit Corner. And uh, we got our peg leg pork or bourbon. So this is our staple. This is our white label, which is a four to six year old. Uh, recently, we came out with a limited edition rye. It was an eight year old rye. Uh, in the past, we've bottled an eight year old uh, Tennessee straight bourbon and a 12 year old Tennessee straight bourbon. Uh, these are both out right now, but pretty soon we'll be releasing uh, some more eight-year-old, and then maybe next year some twelve-year-old. We've uh, we're in the process of building out a new blending and bottling facility uh, here in town, which will give us a lot more flexibility. We'll be able to put out a lot more product uh, over the next couple of years and expand to more states. Uh, right now, we're in nine states and in the UK. We always said from the get-go there would only be one peg leg porker, and uh, and there is. There's only one peg leg porker. We're not planning on opening uh, any more peg leg porkers. We like to say we're building a legacy, not a chain. And, um, you know, so when we opened Bringle Smoking Oasis, it, it had to be a completely different concept, a different location, a different feel and vibe. Uh, this is straight uh, West Tennessee barbecue. It's pork and chicken. There's no beef over here at Peg Leg. And with the Oasis, it's a Texas style place and it's Texas focused. 
more of a Texas ice house atmosphere with the outdoor, uh, with the yard, with the turf and the big screens. Uh, but you can go through the line cafeteria style and get all your meat sliced by the pound. Every Friday we do a smoked prime rib, but we've got brisket over there, smoked pastrami, smoked turkey. Totally different menu than peg leg, um, and then totally different atmosphere. In the airport we've got Pig Star. Again, it's a scaled down version of a peg leg with a limited menu. A few items that we don't carry here. We don't do ribs at the airport. It's just too difficult to get the quality up out there. Um, and so we do the things that we know that we can do well out there. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we partnered with LaVon and Kim Wallace uh, on Fat Belly Pretzel and Deli. And so we're owners in that with that family. And so um, they're great people. Uh, LaVon's an amazing chef. His wife is great. And they work together as a team. And Fat Belly Pretzel and Deli is crushing it over in East Nashville. Guys, it's Kerry Bringle signing out today. Tony, thanks for spending the day with me. Thanks for the interview. Uh, you can find Peg Leg Porker in the Gulch. You can find Bringle Smoking Oasis over in uh, the Nations on Centennial. Pig Star in the airport. Fat Belly Pretzel in Delhi uh, out east. And uh, I'm Kerry Bringle signing out. And this is how I walk the line.